Well, hey guys, good morning. I have you all perched on top of my moisturizer in this little cubby here. I just woke up, haven't had coffee, so bear with me. I'm going to put on my sunscreen. I brought the Canmake Mermaid Skin Gel UV. I like to travel with this. Good size for traveling and it's comfortable. I'm not gonna wash my face this morning. If you missed yesterday's vlog, definitely go check it out. But as you can tell, if you didn't watch, I'm not at home. <laughs> We're in New York City at the Roxy Hotel. We're going to go to a breakfast and then we're going to go to a workshop and then we're going to go to get excited. Are you waiting on the edge of your seat? I know you are. Hold your breath. It's going to be a wild ride to the airport, but not just any airport. The new, upgraded, stylish LaGuardia. So this is the lobby. They have this is where the music was playing last night. And so we have a breakfast. Yay, avocado toast. Tomatoes. It's on whole wheat bread. He kept really pushing the whole wheat bread, but the menu said multi-grain, so I, I don't know what, maybe they're out of it. That looks really good. And here's a view of the bar. Ooh. All right, so I came down here to show you guys the cinema. Isn't it cute? There's a little concession stand. And so this is down in the basement popcorn machine. The gym is back there. Okay. Educational session. Ooh. We have little... There's no tests. So we're super excited to have you here today so that we can give you um, a behind the scenes look of how we develop our um, science-backed innovation and how we bring a product from concept to shelf. Choreometers um, are something we use. It measures something called dielectric constant. So dielectric constant, um, it's technically it's like capacity for something to hold charge, but generally all you need to know is water has a pretty high dielectric constant. And so um, we can use this, it's pretty well correlated that as you um, take measurements of the skin of the dielectric constant, if hydrated skin, because there's more uh, of a water content, that dielectric constant will generally be higher, right? So we would use this as a way of um, testing the moisturization we might get from a product. So we could either do um, before and then after just for immediate hydration. We could do it over extended periods of time to see how long does that like hydration last. We could do something that's called a regressive, which we would have someone use a product for like a month and we'd have them immediately stop. And then we would see how long that um, hydration benefit they acquired <coughs> over that month, how long it um, last uh, over time. So we would use instruments like this as a way of, of determining like um, from an actual measurement perspective how hydrated the skin has become. So again it's not a direct measurement of the water in the skin but it's pretty well correlated that um, as your dielectric goes up that's indicated of, of more hydrated skin. When you say your moisturizer keeps skin hydrated for 48 hours or 72 hours, is this what you're using to determine that? In the clinicals, there's um, the Nova meter, the Skycon, the corneometer, and they all measure basically conductivity or capacitance, which is all just a measure of water in the skin. So we're going for a walk, so I have some time to kill before I go to the airport. All right, we're standing at West Broadway and Canal Street. I have to say, there is significantly more graffiti than I recall there being here before. Those of you who live in the city, is that something you've observed as well? So they still have these little cabanas out everywhere where you can eat outside from the pandemic, but I imagine it's still convenient for people who want to eat outside. I got this one over here with the flowers on it. Stay hydrated. That's my motto. It's kind of dreary, but I sort of like it. What's going on up here? Slippers. Sounds like pancakes. Yep. 
Ooh, let's check out this place. What goes around comes around. That is a saying I really like. But I, I don't know that they'll let us film in there, but I'm gonna go in. So instead of stocking up on Beanie Babies, Back in the 90s, I should have bought a ton of boys to men t-shirts from Hanes because now they're going for $350 apparently. Uh, shop with me window shopping edition. This is an Italian grooming art. Hmm. Rinse-free hand wash. I kind of like the colors of these bottles. creepy. <laughs> this is nice. LaGuardia Community Center. It's like a community garden. It's closed off. Looks a little overgrown. Maybe not. We have sunflowers growing. Tomatoes. All right, the rain's really coming down now. And I am getting a little bit too much hydration. I am hydro boosted. Back when I lived here, this had just opened, the Chobani Cafe. The pumpkin spice genre. All right, we gotta get back. Get back to where we once belong. Because it's almost time for the ride to the airport. Are you guys excited for LaGuardia? I keep hyping it up. Hopefully I'll have time once I get there to actually get you guys some airport, airport footage. I'm in one of the coolest cities in the world and I'm stoked to shoot the airport. Uh, yeah. Tiny little store. Probably costs them two thirds of their earnings a year in rent. <laughs> Anybody want to go to a psychic? We are on our way to LaGuardia. Get excited, the airport I keep hyping up. But I had a great time. There's the Statue of Liberty again, like you saw last night. This is a perfect time of year to come and visit though. Because the weather is not all freezing drizzle. We just got a little bit of rain. Not too bad. Still walk walkable rain. 
It's the moment we've been waiting our entire lives for, the new LaGuardia Airport. So I just checked my suitcase in because I have some liquids that I want to transport home with me. But first of all, this is where check-in is. And can we appreciate the nice mural they have here? And then this dangly do thing. So we have all the gates, JetBlue, Air Canada, American Airlines, Southwest, United. It's just all clean and smooth. But then down there is where baggage claim and ground transportation is. So I'm gate 55 and we're gonna go up the escalator, I believe. Oh no. We've got to go to security first. We have hand sanitizer here. Little gates. I just love this. The Stonewall Inn. I love New York. Hanging there on the cloud. Isn't it nice? I'm just shocked. Look at little doggy. <laughs> All right, we made it through security, no sweat. I don't know if you guys can see out there, but they have on the landing tarmac or whatever it's called. Uh, they have uh, out there on the runway. I don't know if you guys can see. They have a "Welcome to New York" sign with the apple, which is kind of cool. I wanted to show you guys. This is the most up-to-date uh, airport security. I'm over here at one of the one of the security stations see how i don't know if you can see but when you load the tray instead of moving it horizontal you move it in for in front of you you push it forward it's just a more streamlined way and there's a lot more space to sit down and like regroup here headed up to the gate there's some Escalator artwork for your viewing pleasure. You're welcome. All right, so coming off the escalator, you have all of these shops. Look, there's a Lego shop. There's lots to entertain yourself with. Here's the departures. Kind of even scrolls in the On time. And it tells you how how many minutes away your gate is. So I'm six minutes away from my gate. It smells like pralines in here. Is it, are these chocolates? Ooh, how pretty the tin is. These are really pretty. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, the Lego store here. It's this little... What's this guy's name, Olaf? I'm out of it when it comes to kids' movies. And I feel like this movie just came out, but I know it was a long time ago. That's kind of cute. These are like little bracelets you can make. Are those magnets that go on there? Oh, that's really neat. We're kids. What's this cup all about? Th that's exactly what it is, a cub. I thought it was some kind of Lego appendage. All right. We have a Kiehl's in here, too. Here's Mr. Bones. Uh, facial fumes. What is this? Powerful strength, line reducing concentrate, 12.5% vitamin C. What form of vitamin C? Ascorbic acid. This is lemon peel and citrus orange peel oil and fragrance. And vitamin C serums, they're everywhere. Oh, here's the midnight recovery. This is just a bunch of scented oils. Super popular, but it doesn't do anything. But kind of give you a temporary glowy look. What's the ultimate strength hand salve entail? Formulated for the driest, most active hands. Glycerin. Here's a little gift set, $35. You get the lavender scent and the grapefruit scent of the salve, as well as the ultimate strength 
creme de corn body oils. These kind of give the skin a glowy look, but they're not really going to lock in moisture. Oh my gosh, I got this little bag. That is so cute. It's Peter Pan, and it's got the clock on there. It's so cute. There's this one. Little Mermaid. <gasps> Care Bears. These are really cute. How much is that? 84 bucks. Lounge. Oh, these are nice. <gasps> I love the Snow White one with the little birds and the little bow. It's so cute. This one's like a little cake. What movie is this? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm kind of out of it. I haven't seen it. Comment below. Have you seen the Hocus Pocus sequel? I have not. And we've got Pinocchio wallet. Look at Thumper. I love that they have the older Disney movies. Those are my favorite. Like, I love Bambi. You know, it's sad. And I love Peter Pan. And Peter Pan doesn't get enough enough attention you know, all the memorabilia 101 Dalmatians this is kind of a nice shopping little hub here mascara Lancome Hypnose Drama I wonder how that performs I'm all into I, I enjoy testing out different mascaras the Lancome Idol one turned out to be okay for me I, I ended up enjoying that in the long run even though it's on the pricier side. We have some perfumes. I know better than to sample a perfume before I get... This I did not... Was it this one? No. One of these Idole fragrances I did not care for because it had a certain scent that always gives me a bad headache. I had to change your battery, but nice endurance. That last battery we had held us strong for quite a while. I'm here in the food court. They have this fountain thing in the center that you can throw coins into. You can shoot for different rings, see how far you can throw your penny or coin or whatever. All right, I'm gonna take you guys on a quick tour of what eating options there are here for your future references. Uh, Eli's Essentials, Zaro Family Bakery, uh, Green, Green Leaves, Green Leaves, Hill Country Barbecue, Junior's, Tony and Benny, it's like pizza and pasta. Dos Toros, which is sort of like a, kind of like Chipotle style. And then you have Wendy's, and it's like a crepe place over there, maybe opening sometime in the future. That's where we just were, the Bowery Bay shop. It's like, is that Zabar's? Yeah. Um, man. Bagels, coffee. Then we have the little snacks to go. What are these? Um, oh, they're made out of chicken? That's kind of grody. <laughs> Who wants to eat a chicken chip? There's also Mulberry Street. There's the exit down to, exit down to ground transportation and baggage claim. There's a nice bar where you can watch sports, if that's your thing. They have a more quiet zone area. Some kind of American Express lounge thing. I guess you pay to go in there and lounge. Brooklyn Diner. Level four is what we're at. You can go in there and sit down and have a meal. Or you can sit at the counter. See how spacious this is? It's pretty impressive. I, I think my shoe's gonna come untied, so. All right. So, there's a nice view there. I mean, honestly, if you have a layover here, you're going to be entertained. You're gonna be able to relax. There's a lot of space. Lots of walkability. It's nice and climate controlled. And you have ample C 
seating areas where you could set up shop and get work done. I never take these moving sidewalks unless I absolutely have to, um, but I'm gonna take this one just for fun. And because that is where we are. Okay, here's the United Club, another one of those things you can go into and lounge. And then over there is Air Canada's lounge. Heading down to these gates, where my gate is, you have Shake Shack and this Irving Farm. And then you have the I Love New York sign. And coming up to our right, we have the FAO Schwartz. Now, who is going to buy this in the airport? <laughs> I love these, though. They're, are they, they look like they're soft. Yeah, super soft. Oh, the little bee that holds on the lollipop stick is cute. How nice is that? It's the night before Christmas. It's the night before Christmas, but you can record your voice reading it. And that way, um, you can have it forever. It's really nice. Overpriced bottles of water. Lollipops. Who is this little cozy cow? I like how you can look out too and see everything. Theo Schwartz key rings. So sweet. <laughs> Magnet. Some sort of little mermaid thing for a baby to play with. Oh, that's neat. It's a bumper car set. And then, uh, what is this? Markers. Color rocket. These are nice toys. Then we have nutcrackers. And a train set. This is a vintage microphone. Oh, cool. You can stream songs from your phone and sing. That's clever. DJ Mixer Matt. Then you have the FAO Schwartz makeup kit lipsticks, lip pencils. There's a bigger one with a vanity. Then there's a little foot spa set. You thought I was just hyping this place up for nothing, right? Now, now, don't you just want to take a trip here just to come to the airport? Forget about going into the city. You just want to come to the airport and hang out and then go back home. Candy, nuts. You can get those at Costco, I think. You used to be able to. I haven't been to Costco in a while, but yeah, probably gonna be substantially cheaper to buy them at Costco. <laughs> Look at this new flavor of Mountain Dew. There's something sinister about Mountain Dew. Like when you drink it, you feel like you're gonna go to jail or something. Is this a new flavor? Wild Cherry Diet Pepsi. I heard Diet, I heard Diet, I heard Pepsi came out with a new black cherry flavor. And I'm wondering how substantially different that is from just the regular cherry flavor. I'm here at my gate. Well, it's in the distance, but you have another bar here. Bank. The real question is, will Andrea A. edit this vlog, B. watch the rest of Elvis, or C. edit the vlog and watch Elvis, or D. edit the vlog, edit Sunday's vlog, which you're watching right now as I whispered her sweet words to you. Fall asleep. <laughs> I'm giving you too many choices. Does it feel like you're taking a standardized test? It shouldn't feel that way. <laughs> I always 
doze off when the plane is taking off because the oxygen levels decline, but then I wake back up again. I can't hold back because I love you too much, baby. Hey guys, guess what I watched? I did watch the Elvis movie again, but I did get the vlog, which you hopefully watched yesterday, edited. And I must say, I'm really happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog as well as today's vlog. What a ton of fun. I made it back, obviously safely intact to H-Town, went ahead and unpacked, because I'm that type of person. Comment below. When you get back from a trip, do you have to unpack everything right away? I do. I like, yeah, I definitely have to do that. As much as I love Southwest, we did have a bit of a hiccup where, I mean, I don't know if it's their fault. I feel like they're short staffed these days. Airlines across the board. Basically, the pilot gets on is like, there's weather and I, I like to fly into Hobby. He says there's bad weather in Hobby, we can't land the plane. We're gonna have to fly to Bush and get gas. <laughs> and so everybody freaked out who had connecting flights at Hobby. And so they let some people off the plane. And I would have gotten off the plane except I checked my bag in. And if you checked your bag in, well then it was gonna go back to Hobby. So they're like, you know, this should be pretty quick. We're gonna get gas. The storm at this point has passed through over the hobby airport and we're just going to get gas sign off on some paperwork and fly back that took actually an hour and 10 minutes to do that um which you know i know things there are hiccups so i wasn't mad i had elvis the elvis movie going time just flew by so then we flew back to hobby which you know bear in mind these are flights within the same city so boop, boop, really quick we land at Hobby and we couldn't pull up to the gate because there were a bunch of other people ahead of, ahead of us. I guess due to the storm there was backup. So we ended up waiting on the on the runway, gate, whatever. We ended up waiting on the runway before we could get to our gate and unload the plane for like, what felt like maybe 40 minutes, so quite a while. But again, I had that Elvis movie going. I was, I was happy as can be, except I need to I need to buy myself a portable phone charger because my battery was like at 16% and that was making me really nervous. But man, like I said, I had a fantastic time. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much. And if you all enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.